movie about McDonald's. It's the story of Ray Kroc and the McDonald's brothers. You can find it on all of the streaming platforms. I, I think it's primarily on Netflix, but the title of the movie is called The Founder. And what's interesting about that movie is there is this segment or this part in the movie where Ray Kroc is frustrated. He is trying to convince the McDonald's brothers to move beyond the status quo, to move beyond what it is that they're doing to expand the business, to think another way. And, his, and in his pursuit of this, he becomes frustrated and he's starting to lose money. He's walking down the street and there's a gentleman who comes up behind him by the name of Harry Sandoval. Ray Kroc is frustrated and in this moment, he hands him his card and he says, hey, uh, thank you, Harry, but I'm not interested in any ice cream. And Harry says, I'm not here to talk to you about a product, but I'm here to talk to you about your business and why you are not making the type of money, why you're not experiencing the type of success that you think you should uh, be walking in. And that, you know, perks uh, Ray's imagination. He invites Harry into the office. He pulls out his books and Harry begins to go through the books. And what's wonderful about this part, when Ray invites him in, Harry begins to tell him something that changes everything for him. Yeah, it, it changes everything for him. Harry looks at Ray and he says, Ray, you don't realize what business you're in. Ray, you, you don't realize what business you're in. You think that you're in the hamburger business. You think that you are in the two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles on a sesame seed bun. But you're not in the patty business. You're in the real estate business. And once you understand that, that's going to change your whole life. Yeah. Yeah. Approach, can I submit to you this morning that one of the major issues that we face is not understanding what business we're in? especially when it comes to the church. Most of us think that we are in the status quo business, that we are in the preach to the choir business. And so we spend a lot of energy trying to be preachy to people who have already received the gospel. And that tends to lead to you and I putting on airs for one another. You know, we only act churchy when we get in front of other people who we perceive to be church. But the reality is, we don't understand what business we're in. Because here is the reality, we are not in the church business, we are in the people business. Uh, somebody uh, ain't picking up what I'm putting down. We, we're, we're not in, uh, it's Sunday morning and I put on airs and I act like I got it all together business. No, we are in the keeping it real business. We are not in the business of thinking if we simply shout, clap and dance that we know him business, but we are 
in the business of being authentic. Because here is the thing. Jesus is in the people business. Uh, for contrary to popular opinion, Jesus is in the business of people. Yeah, yeah, he's in the business of people. For the Bible says, for God so loved the world, that's people, y'all, that he gave. Jesus said, I'm going to make you fishers of men. That's people, y'all. He didn't come here for this abstract thing. He, he came for people. Yeah, Jesus loves people. And can I suggest that it's all about people? We are in the people business.